Okay. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. What a wonderful Monday. <laughs> Monday blues or good Monday? <laughs> Oof. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of complicated. Yeah. <laughs> It's a mixed feeling. <laughs> Especially <laughs> after yesterday's announcement. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. So we, we might, the whole episode today is about pertaining that announcement, isn't it? Yes. Sort of, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, it, it would be pertaining what happened, what was uh, revealed yesterday. Mm -hmm. So in the sense that, okay, I shall just say our hellos tonight. Um, hi, good evening. This is Shine at Night, episode 7 now. And today is the largest Shine at Night episode we've ever had so far. Why is it the largest? We've got three superpowers, superhouses here. Um, uh, Liu Yihao, Nikki Che, and SLI are with us tonight. Okay, so I will leave it to them for self-introduction. We will get to know them and their business as we travel through this one hour tonight, right? Let's start with Mr. Yi Hao. Hi, um, good. Happy Monday, everyone. My name is Yi Hao. I'm co-founder for ACM at BOSR Consulting with 18 years of experience for level leakage and growth optimization. So uh, with that, I also focus on the uh, business blueprint or people call it uh, business SOP optimizations. So that is uh, mainly for my forte right now. Thanks okay. for having me, Jeff. Most welcome. Where are you from, Yi Hao? Uh, in fact, I'm from Kuantan, Pahang. So mm -hmm. you see my skin actually a bit darker. <laughs> That's the reason why. <laughs> so I'm the typical <laughs> beach boy. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Okay. I like that beach boy, yeah. yeah. Beach boy, yeah. You see how Yi Hao, you see how he's corrected. I asked him about self-introduction. He dove straight to his business profile, business self. <laughs> very, very <laughs> serious and dedicated man. Okay, let's move on to the, the lovely lady here, Nikki. Can you share a little bit about yourself? Hi, everyone. Happy Monday again. Yeah, my name is Nikki. I've been, uh, I mean, I'm a person who have been working in MNC for, a, for almost 20 years. But I decided to move on. Even though I know I can enjoy better perks there and uh, enjoy all the benefits, but I decided to move on to become an entrepreneur by myself because I developed my passion in the ERP industry. ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. And I, I have a lot of passion when it comes to business processes, especially end-to-end -end when from production all the way to finance. So once I develop my interest, I want to do something which I'm passionate about. So that's why I move on and decided to step everything by myself. Yeah. So Wonderful. I've been in this industry almost more than 20 years now. Wow, yeah. more than 20 years. Okay. All right. And on to you, Lai. Um, I am uh, originated from uh, Sudan. Uh, now it's called Suri Kambangan. So. <laughs> yeah. so uh, Many of us may not aware that uh, within the 10 kilometer radius from KL downtown, we, uh, I was brought up uh, from Kampung. So we enjoy all the Kampung stuff and all that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but then during study time, uh, and you know, in the past, we have, we have been taught as a man, we need to know uh, many DIYs, you have to fix all your lights and fixtures at home. So then uh, from that, I developed my interest, then I went into engineering. Another reason is uh, during my time is uh, engineers is uh, is a better paid job, but eventually I find that that, that is wrong <laughs> compared to some others. <laughs> then compared to some others, okay. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> then I continue working uh, uh, as an engineer, an E and E background, and uh, mm -hmm. we are helping uh, the industry uh, factories from uh, this totally manual labor intensive machine system production floor to uh, mm -hmm. semi-auto and slowly with robots. And now we are talking about ooh, uh, the information age, everything at your fingertips. Yeah, correct, correct. All right, so if you are just tuning in, it's four minutes past nine. We have just started episode seven, which we call WFH. By now we are all so familiar. 
work from home, right? So if you're watching, give us a shout out, say hello to us. There are a few hellos coming in already. We see hello from uh, Kelvin, Sharon, uh, Ghostman. They are, they are my um, loyal audience for seven episodes now. Also hello you, to Mr. You, Al. Uh, Jovas uh, saying that Nikki is looking very sweet. Hey, my thank two guys here also looking very <laughs> sweet and handsome, okay? All right, so you know the drill. Click on like, engage with us. And also, if you are so kind to do so, um, click on share. Uh, start a watch party. That would be really awesome. So, um, all right, back to our audience here. All right, Yi Hao, I understand that you have mm. a presentation for us today. Yeah? Yes. But before we go through that, um, yesterday, there was an announcement being that the partial MCO or the conditional MCO is extended for a month. Um, so the new date is what? 9 June, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Yep. 9 June, right? Okay. So um, what are your thoughts on this and how do we handle the situation? Well, um, looking at this, uh, purely in my view, uh, now exactly happened in Malaysia. You, you can see wider picture beyond Malaysia. In fact, uh, almost all the country heading is the same direction, same issue, same challenges. Individual apply to the business. We are looking at the bigger picture right now. We are talking about economy, right? So uh, right now, I can even though want to summarize a point. Uh, I only have three points to that. Uh, mm -hmm. One exactly right now is that our local GDP actually is shrinking, but at the same time, uh, the competition right now is uh, intensified thanks to internet. Okay. At the same time, also thanks to internet, they will link us to uh, better in terms of the active um, marketing size. So which means right now when you open up your new business, it no longer is a Malaysia business to the certain extent. At the so same like time, uh, other uh, location business owner they do the same to it. <laughs> yeah, yep. So with that, uh, if I may allow, just really quickly to share the screen. Mm -hmm. Oh, before you do that, before you do that, I'll just uh, take a general answer, general tone from Nikki as well as Lai. Nikki, what do yes. you think about um, this it being extended till nine June? Do you think business owners are okay, able to cope? Yeah, I mean, currently, because of the situation of the pandemic, it's a, it, again, I would like to use the word mixed feeling. Mm -hmm. So, they are, I mean, it's safe for everyone to stay at home or even conditional MCO is there, but because of the economy and, all, and also especially for employer, they still need to bear the, the staff costs, the overhead and all that. So... Mm -hmm. It's a again. It's a bit tough now. I mean, especially for SMEs, especially mm -hmm. those who have a team of staff and all that. So, this but don't is worry, we got a solution I, for that, right? Yeah, but uh, there are all <laughs> kinds of different. I mean, I'm not here to comment on that part. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, this I is something that uh, I can see if it's continuously going on to or extend. We will see other thing will be coming out, and people may may suffer. Yeah. How it's about really in the survival mode now? Survival mode. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's the keyword now. Survival mode. Lai, you've been nodding and I can see it in your eyes. You're thinking of something. Uh, when can I cut my hair? <laughs> that's the <first> <laughs> <laughs> that's I have the same problem, problem also, Lai. Yeah, I want to cut <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so the, the hairdressing industry need to re be reactivated. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, yes, it should with uh, uh, safety measures and all precautions in place. Sure. Um, I, I believe I, I'm coming from another point of view. As a, every uh, individual, either your business owner, you are a, a, a team player, uh, mm -hmm. and so on. Uh, we have the fear, and that fear is the fear of unknown. When is going to open? Is it going to be extended? If we uh, it's totally uplifted. What are we facing? Mm -hmm. uh, is people still will come up and, and purchase as normal? Do you still spend money as normal, or what? What else? Mm -hmm. So those are the the fear of unknown. I, I believe that is quite common to link uh, all of us here. So uh, and yes, we have all the frontliner and scientists working extremely hard trying to find the uh, better solutions. 
But I believe we uh, generally mankind at this point, uh, we can't say we 100% understand about this disease. Mm. So we still yes. have to be very careful. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, Erica, hello, Jeff, Esther, hello, everyone. All right, hello, now Ken. we move on. Yeah. Hello, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, like? Uh, no, uh, yeah, I saw another <laughs> friend coming in. Hello, Ken. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay, um, yeah. Yihao, now we will go ahead with your presentation. Mm -hmm. Okay, just give me a quick second. He's prepared a wonderful slide for us today so that we can learn as well as adopt for our business. Okay. Yeah. All right. Off you go. Right. You are good to go. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Jerry. Um, so just, um, just to recap to some of the points. In fact, uh, today I would like to uh, give uh, my view how to handle the new norm, especially on the business continuity management. If I can summarize to that right now, there are four uh, main points here. Uh, is can apply to all the business owner out there, right? So the first thing here, actually, the crisis management realignment. So as we know, uh, pandemic basically is one of the crises, right? Like it or not, because it really uh, destructive of the businesses right now. So immediately, uh, we need to look at your crisis management realign. Right, all the crisis management have been doing for your company or companies right now. You have to be realigned. Uh, why I say so is as a one simple reason is that uh, pandemic basically is not a normal disaster, right? What we are looking for actually the pandemic, especially right now, transition to the certain extent after a full lifted, that could be a new norm. So when I say new norm here, there could be a lot of things could be changed the way to do business. So which means on our critical, uh, your business operation for the uh, crisis management need to be realigned adjustment. So on top of that, uh, your business strategy and growth strategy have to be realigned as well. So give you an example. If you have doing the product A, have been doing quite well for the past of number of months or years. Uh, right now, because of this uh, impact, uh, the way they do business, the user consumption, the pattern itself has been shift the paradigm. So which means in order to cut back the new monetization model, your business strategy and goal must be realigned, right? So this is very important, right? So under the normal business strategy and goal, you need to be tied back to your revenue model. Right. Once the revenue model has been uh, optimized and fine-tuning, that's where you need to start to simulate, we call it a financial simulation, to ensure every plan you do, it could be a scientific proof or maybe a proof of concept. Right. So once we've done that, then we go to the third quadrant here, which is, we call it the business continuity alignment. So all the daily operation, uh, including the disaster of conversation plan, so able to realign. So, but but not this, that should be a top-down approach. The last should be your business operation alignment, right? So that's tied back to your uh, your sales uh, cycle, your customer acquisition process, your order fulfillment process, and the post support as well. So that's actually the last. But this typical four quadrant actually is quite... Uh, in the normal case, but more important, what I'm going to highlight here is that there are four another, uh, we call it four dimension effective return consideration to your business. The first one I want to highlight here is actually is adopt. Now, uh, adopt here is simply because that our business here and is already go to the new norm world. So with that, let me give you a, a four a little bit more on the uh, elements. Uh, under the adoptions, what is it all about? The first item you will discover is that they could be go to the mood of a deep recession impact. That's the first one impact. Then after that, you might, your business might encounter like a multi-front disruptive, right? Here, what it mean by that is multiple dimensions, whether it's from the economy point of view, from the personal uh, human safety point of view, 
So there's another paradigm to considerations, right? Then, of course, they also link back to because of, just as I mentioned, that uh, the internet economy. So right now, our structural shift have been moved to digital. So that part is the major part we need to consider. Yeah. So we another point here is that if I can allow to put the pointer here for the accessibility. So as I mentioned just now, uh, right now, if I want to really categorize that, we have three category under accessory structure workforce. One is that due to no choice, we have to be go online, but restriction work. The other category we call it is online flexible, meaning we can go to office to work or we can do it in our home. So what the last but not least, definitely that will be a virtual or in another words called a remote working, right? So under that, we will need to also to go to the club. So by the club on the operation point of view, they must be able to handle the another three new territory. One is that we call it high restriction operation, which means even though we allow our workers, our employee to start to go to office or our factory to do works, but mm -hmm. we have to highly restrict in terms of the working relationship and the things tender. Then the other portion, it could be a partial, meaning that we are like government right now, we also declare the standard business SOP. They are part of the partial restriction operation, meaning that they will have a full list of checklists to ensure the uh, every employee safety is the first priority. Then everything uh, need to be distant. We call it a uh, um, distant uh, in terms of the, uh, the relationship and the timing as well. So that's part of the bit. Not only is actually the timing on the transitions is very important. Everything in line to here must be able to have milestone. Right, the heading for the uh, indicator for the returns on the status that's where you can reflect to your key uh, stages in terms of operation for the external condition, like what we just heard uh, last Sunday. There's another uh, factor to it, so that's why we have to re reset the whole plan from this cycle again. And to fine tuning is almost either a uh, critical order, either apply to your business every day or weekly basis yeah so this all in all uh that will be a new paradigm as a high level guideline of course right uh hope that uh, this guideline will able to benefit uh this is by you all uh, right now in the market hope i uh, value added to this yeah. okay that's that's it. back to you uh yeah don't take down your slides just yet keep it up yeah okay um actually yep. this this that we have shown right is it um uh, is it a consideration or is it a necessity for almost all or all business types uh, in terms of sizes? Uh yes, uh Jerry, uh, absolutely correct because this is, this is a high level in terms of the guideline to cater for business condition for new norm. Uh, mm -hmm. this is uh applied to all the industry, all the businesses as a guideline. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. and um. Uh, near demand, near term demands may move to digital. How do I pivot quickly? Hmm. Okay, with that, uh, as I mentioned just now, the fastest way to do it actually, you need to sue back for your four quadrant here. So, which mm -hmm. means you need to quickly uh, do look at the current situation of your business. Let's go back to your fundamental four main pillar: your cash mm -hmm. flow, uh, your revenue model whether your product or service is able to make money or not using the old way, right? Mm -hmm. Then uh, your operation, meaning that your entire supply chain from the goods, uh, raw material until the produce, the final goods that deliver to the customer, is there any changes right now due to the matter of fact of this pandemic? So okay. do a quick adjustment. So when you do adjustment, meaning you already have a survival step number one, right? Then okay. immediately look at for the uh, latest uh, capturing in terms of any solution in the market uh, is possible because I, uh, time is the essence right now. You don't want to invent the whole wheel. Look at the right solution in terms of perhaps in that case, remote working solution because uh, due to the pandemic, uh, so we encourage uh, the higher possibility to, and to achieve two things. One is to 
hopefully enable our business operation at the same time to put our staff uh, with the safety as a first priority. So, so with these two main uh, criteria in hand, definitely working with no solution must be a, a top options right now can be able to uh, proceed from now. Yep. So availability, because right now I believe that uh, Nikki is able to uh, share to audience here so how she can able to provide the solution on that in later Thanks. part. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. Okay, um, you know there's a lot of cases where now people are used to working from home and somehow business owners, businesses are discovering that productivity has increased. I mean at first there was so much hesitance and fear, right? Um, will my staff know how to work from home? Um, how do I manage their discipline? You know, with the worry about, you know, there are kids, kids are also not allowed to go to school, um, things like that, right? Um, the question here is why come back? Is, is it more efficient to just keep it this way? Yeah, I think that's a very good question, uh, Jerry. So uh, as I mentioned just now, that actually uh, it's not all, to be honest with you, in a matter of fact, it's not really uh, have to be go back to office. That really depends on the your individual business nature of model, how to operate. For example, mm -hmm. just now I mentioned that, right, under the uh, craft section consideration here, so we have a three category. One is the high restriction operation. Let's assume right now you fall under uh, just an example. Uh, I'm doing a glove uh, manufacturing industry. So I have a factory to produce a glove, right? So that's fall under the essential services in Malaysia. So with that, uh, under the glove, of course, because it's essential service, at the same time, as I mentioned just now, uh, in order to really fulfill that, uh, the criteria of the safety first of the employee as a top priority. So, which means we need to have a very established or the high restriction operation SOP in place in the factories. So that's one of the way because the factory, as you imagine right now, you can't move your machinery back to your home individually, right? <laughs> so that's kind of uh, possible to happen. So in that case, uh, we have to have the very solid in terms of the uh, high restriction operation SOP in place in the factory in order to make things uh, business business as usual almost in for the new norm cases, right? Of course, for the typical, uh, those are the office remote, we can able to digitize in terms of the SOP, then we can easily, uh, by using this uh, remote working solution, able to address uh, whether your on-prem working or as well as you can remotely working, that can be done. Right. Yeah, that's why we are here. Our topic for today's discussion is how to perform checks and balance in the new norm. Yes. Yeah. So, so there's a way. So now that we discover a new habit, right? Because beyond 21 days, a habit is, is formed, right? So yes. yeah, some industries, some sectors need to yes. actually figure out how to create a new balance in the new norm. Okay. okay. Um, Yihao, thanks for the amazing, yes. amazing tips. Um, well, I'm sure there are more tips. You have more things to share. Um, do you do you have a program? Will you will, will you have um, another avenue that you share your insights and tips? You do have um, um, live shows like this, right? Uh, yes. Uh, every Friday, uh, mm -hmm. our company we have this program called Asia Business Talk Show. Uh, mm -hmm. Every Friday, we have a slot of 3.30 p.m. Malaysia time, right? So we, yeah. this session, basically, we want to uh, um, provide the information to back to the audience so that we can have the education and share the tips. So every week, we share a one-page statement, right? Mm -hmm. And then we mm -hmm. invite the valuable speaker to talk about the, the certain pain they can able to produce a value added. So that's actually, we would like to continue the journey to help out our business owner, especially the business owner in SME, right? So that is mm. the way uh, we, uh, we think we can able to contribute to help the business owner out there. Mm. I was about to ask you, who are the perfect audience for you? Yeah, business owners, that's right. That's right. Yes. So Friday, 3 p.m. if you are in KL time zone, yeah? Wonderful. Yeah. Um, it will be... You know, each episode will carry a different topic and a different subject matter expert will come through. Wonderful. Okay. Yihao, sit back, mm. relax. We'll go on to Nikki now. Yeah. Thank you. 
Nikki, are you okay. ready with your presentation? Most welcome, Yao. So sorry. Yeah, I will share my screen. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Nikki's presentation is also very interesting. She is, of course, an ERP consultant, ERP specialist. And okay, it's coming up. <clears throat> okay, Nikki, you're good to go. All right. Let me choose my pointer. Okay. Can you all see, because just now, I think yes. Nihao already mentioned a lot about a uh, remote working solution. So as a business owner, you may be sitting at home or you may be uh, at uh, somewhere. Then you will have your salesman in another house or your customer in a, at home. And you may have some factory still on uh, operating because like, for example, the glove operational part, they are still in essential good. Then some of the finance officer, they are in different offices. So what happened now? When you have your remote working solution implemented, I mean, now we are talking about new norm. Even when MCO fully lifted, we may be in a hybrid environment. There are some work we still can work from home. For example, if home, uh, home C can send a request, then home D can actually start to do all the invoicing and DO, and they can send all the information back to the factory. Yeah, so in other words, the company can still continue to generate sales revenue and profit. So we, what we are trying now is, even though we are in a very, very difficult or challenging environment with the working from home or remote working solution, you are still able to achieve or hit the sales target. And uh, most importantly, like just now Jerry mentioned, when the employee is working from home, how are you going to monitor their performance? How are you going to measure what's going on? So actually what we can do is, again, back to the SOP, you can put everything into the remote working solution. It's a system that you can track the performance by the task management. And uh, of course, when you are, you another question or you pops up will be, how secure am I? Am I actually somebody is watching? Can you see the two black men stand, stay there? The two black men can be a competitor, can be a hacker, or can be even a virus or whatever. So they are watching us. But with uh, this secure, why we put the word secure means we actually put all the security in place, like firewall, VPN, VPN stands for virtual private network. All this is in place and everything is put on, on the cloud. So it's something that worry free. And as a boss, you can see the bosses are now, I mean, not now, like after when when MCO fully lifted, you can go for holiday or you can Which go is the for, boss? This picture is the boss. <laughs> <laughs> the one. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the bike. Yeah. <laughs> the gold one, okay. Yeah, because, and which picture yeah, is the, the, the black boss, man that you're referring to? The two black men. The two black, ah, the two, two, two <laughs> in the no, small no, no, square, no. right? Okay, the no, two in the I square that looks like a skeleton. Yeah, I purposely put that in as a, it's a possible track. Because mm. if, even now people are talking about hacking, cracking, all kinds of uh, intrusion to our system. So yep. with a cloud or with a secure network, because you and we, we allow people to do it remotely. But end of the day, we are we have another fear. Will my employee leak out information to my competitors? Will somebody is watching and hacking into my system? I mean, all these have to really put in place. You can see the big lock there. So mm -hmm. everything is on the cloud and all securely protected. Yeah, so with the peace of mind, the boss can do, uh, they can go for golfing, but at the same time, they can they can uh, perform their approval remotely. And they know what happened in their business. They know what is the business status, what is the performance now, anytime, anywhere. I mean, this is a new norm now. Or even though eventually we have a full MCO lifted, you may still want to... Uh, move on with such a setup because it's, it's, there's no different. You don't have to tear it down. Yeah. yeah. So you don't have to put all your tasks into local employees. And let's say, for example, 
I have certain tasks or certain job, I require some expertise or some talent from overseas. There's no issue because thanks to internet again, I can just mm. promote or I can just advertise and get help globally. Yeah, mm. all this can be done when we turn on remote working. Yeah. So, uh, and when it comes to business expansion, because overhead is some one of the costs that we have to look into. For example, your office rental, your maybe your expansion of the workplace and all that. With the remote working expansion uh, uh, solution, you do not require a big office space. You can save a lot mm -hmm. of uh, rental or overhead. Yeah, And mm -hmm. at the same time, you still can monitor. You, the most important word now is you still can monitor <laughs> and measure. And Horses are getting the, worried what are uh, workers up to at home. Yes, that's why you... <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks is okay. Two months, uh, a bit yes, worrisome. So that's, why, that's why, again, put your SOP or your process flow in place so that you can inline all this into your map, your SOP into the solution or into the system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all for my presentation. So... Everyone, please be safe and hopefully we, even though new norm or hybrid, we, we, I, I can see that this is the trend to go. All right. Thank you. Back to you, Jerry. Thank you. Don't, move your, don't remove your slide yet. Can you move your slide uh, backwards um, and leave the big chart up? Let's all just process that. Uh, the big chart meaning to say the ones before you started explaining um, the words at the bottom. Just go back a few slides. Yeah, mm. some more. Mm. Okay. If you guys have any questions, it's a bit heavy today as opposed to our previous episodes. <laughs> it's, it's, it's time for us business owners to, you know, shake up and this is our reality now, right? Even though 9 June comes, I mean, 9 June is a month away, even though it comes. Yep. Um, there's a comment from Sam here to say that, yeah, all these possibilities has to be considered for remote office. Indeed, Sam, you are absolutely right. And that's why we bring, in fact, these three people here, they are the experts in their industry. They came to me and said, um, Geraldine, can we come on your show? Because we have something important that we think business owners can um, benefit from our sharing. In which, yeah, this is exactly what they have in mind to share with you. Okay, Nikki, I think one more, one before this, one more slide before this. The one, everything is really big. Yeah. Because I'm just uh, afraid the people yeah. at home can't see. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, this one. This one. That's great. <laughs> okay. I like the two men dancing left and right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <They're dangerous. laughs> you don't know where they are coming from, right? They're just dancing everywhere and you can't see them. Mm, yeah. Okay, I like this yeah. uh, this slide. Um the reason is it really um you have captured the essence of a business. Okay, Nikki, a question for you, right? Actually, this is uh, not from the crowd, just for me. If, say, a boss is always on the go, moving here to there and all that right now, we can yeah. be on the road. Um, can Other than desktop or laptops, can I can I use my mobile phone or tablets? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Accept? Yeah, the, the solution is actually can run on different touch points, which could be your mobile, your tablet, or even your desktop, laptops. Yeah, it will adjust oh, accordingly. The user interface is adjusted accordingly. Wonderful. Okay, I always have this clashing with my accountant. She's my mother, yeah? So if my mom is listening to this, hi, mom. <laughs> the clash here is the generation gap, I think, because me, I want to go paperless for my company and that's my agenda since 10 years ago. But uh, my, my beautiful and beloved mother, she's like, she's an accountant. So all these years, 30 years of her practice, she's like, we need it for seven years, blah, 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 blah. And hey, my office is a very small unit. And I see something very interesting just now. You made a comment that the infrastructure within the office, you can save space. So how do we apply your, your system and yet comply to, to, to legal needs or I, I don't know what, what it's called, like tax, tax issues, accounts yeah. needs? Yeah, I mean, the seven years is a, is a requirement from the, the tax, the taxation part of it. But uh, nowadays, because of the limitation on the space and all that, 
we actually can scan or you can you can use electronic document i think now it's all acceptable your invoices everything can be electronically print uh, i mean you don't have to print out the physical copy you can Mommy, uh, are you listening to this <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's what he means. Now I understand. Good In one. our next family gathering, there will be some fire. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I mean I mean you can you can think of the risk of uh, keeping the paper, either the data will be faded. Yes, because you, yes, you know, that's why yeah, she's always holding yeah, me. Hmm. Yes, and the so, time for you to retrieve to find that is quite a pain. Yeah, that's what I see. That's what I see because I don't want her to crouch over a filing cabinet anymore, and it's so painful to watch. You know because she's you know she's a bit older now. But um, so your safety solution is it's 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 compliant. Yeah, you still yeah. you still comply. You still comply. You still you still can keep the document for seven years as long as you can keep into a storage. You do your proper backup, put uh offsite onsite backup all this. I mean, if everything is done and your data is well protected, I think it's 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 fine enough. Yeah, wonderful. Okay, that solved yeah. my headache. Um, okay, what about in terms of <laughs> because mom and I, we always clash on this. I think it's because of generation gap. We have the same intention, but just generation gap. Okay, how about in terms of product recalls? Can we trace the source of the product or component? Very, very good question. The the strength of having a ERP or a enterprise resource planning. I mean, I mean, what I'm talking here is actually a ERP. When you have a centralized or integrated system. There are some there are feature called lot traceability or serial number traceability. In case of any product recall, you can actually trace all the way from your customer shipment and from which vendor, which uh, what raw material and which lot number. This is the mm -hmm. strength of having a centralized or integrated system. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Sam has mentioned something again. I'll pop his comment through. Uh, I had, he says this, I had start remote office or operation wow. long time already. It's suitable for sales person and project management team. Really, it's a new norm for office staff. Nikki, maybe you can elaborate more on this? Yeah, I think so Sam has a, has a very good point. Let's say, for mm -hmm. example, a salesperson or a project person, you, you don't have to travel all the way back to your office to enter the data. I mean, as long as you have a remote access to your system, you can use a mobile take down the order. You can even done all your order fulfillment, delivery, everything can be done just in your mobile. Yeah, it's so more, it's a mobility, it's a keyword now. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, last look at the slides. Guys, if you have any questions uh, for Nikki, even for Yihao and Lai, please ask, uh, ask them because it's a good opportunity. All right, um, Lai, I understand you have a presentation as well. Yes, right, I'm, I will uh, stop sharing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. Good, really good session. When I'm quiet, that means you are really uh, using up my brain capacity. <laughs> 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 I'm really trying to digest all this because coming from a marketing background, this these are really stuff that I need to, to know. Okay. Yep. Uh, I am uh, very focused and and very deep into uh, manufacturing processes, dealing with different types of equipment and all that. So before mm -hmm. I share everything, uh, uh, we always say, now uh, there's a very good uh, sharing session, okay, a few few weeks back. Uh, one of our friends, our human capital expert, Akin Hai, he asked a question, he said, well, yes, uh, uh, after we have your system, okay, because uh, Nikki, on the bigger picture, that's why they make more money. Although we don't make as good <laughs> big money, but uh, our value is to keep um, production safer, quality mm -hmm. can assured, yeah, and also mm -hmm. safety for the uh, work, uh, working team and all that for the staff. Um, mm -hmm. If our uh, system are in place, yeah, so the difference before the system during this period of time and mm -hmm. after is before I think the. The business owner or the top management, uh, they still get information, but they use their phone, same, but they call. Sometimes they may not get the person. After they call the Mr. A, then that person have to talk to a few more person. After a round, then only can give him that piece of information. 
Mm-hmm. For example, is our customer order ready to go? Yep. Yeah. But then with the system actually uh, is right here. It is well uh, connected and integrated. Of course, uh, to do that, we not only on the machine level, then we have to connect to uh, Nikki's uh, system and sometimes work with e-house system as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, so this is the, this is the difference. Oh. So, and furthermore, now uh, not many workforce, uh, okay, now we can work 100% already up to this point. But however, uh, we also face that some of our colleagues come and feedback to us, they don't feel comfortable. Some are parents, they have to look after the children, yeah? School and nursery are still not open. Some, uh, honestly, they say they don't feel safe enough. Uh, we acknowledge that. As I said just now, it's still something that we, uh, many uh, of the things we still unknown. We don't know what's next, is what's going to happen. So we, we further discuss and we understand. So the relatively workforce for everyone is actually uh, uh, smaller and lower. So your boss call people, so that's people to run around, look information for you. So that, that's, that, that is a difference, yeah. So um, allow me to just quickly share this screen. It won't be too lengthy. Uh, imagine, yeah, don't worry. Thank you so much. Good, good uh, to share now. Good yeah, to... yep. Uh, I hope, uh, do you all see this very colorful screen with my mouse cursor? <laughs> <laughs> A lot of information, allow me. Okay. This line is, this column is a machine that you have, blower, injection machine, and so on, CNC. Okay. <laughs> this is the work order, which actually come from your customer. The customer place your order, then you have something like this. This is your particular uh, parts or product you are supposed to do. Okay. If it's in green color, oh, look at this chart. Oh, my goodness, we have only one green. Wow, this is really, <laughs> really <laughs> heavy, Worry, yeah? worrisome. Very okay. worrying. Yeah. Okay. If it's red color, that means the machine is down for whatever reason. We'll look into the reason later. But okay. uh, what I'm trying to say is with the system, one glance, you can know what is happening. Uh, if I take uh, this example, this customer, super important VVIP, but we know now it's actually inspecting. That means not fully production yet, okay? So how many more to go or 300 pieces to go? Ah, but actually it extend, uh, ex- estimated to end uh, tomorrow, okay? Uh, if you know the details, then you may say, okay, not so bad, yeah, not so worrying. But looking into this, actually, we are supposed to another example, another machine, another super VIP customer. But this case, oh no, we are actually behind. Yeah, we are supposed to ship out by today, by slate already. So decision making can be made. You can do uh, well. Uh, I don't like to use this word, but sometimes it's really firefighting. Okay. Right. So then let's quickly look into some reason. A glance. Which machine is down? Wow, yellow oh. out cycle, oh. uh, oh, full blower down. Wow, wow, wow. This is uh, okay. this is uh, red alert. Anyway, the reason <laughs> of down. Uh, allow me to translate uh, because this is a a, a demo site. So mm-hmm. for we, we are serving different audience. This is a, a raw material invalid. Miss empty already lah. Waiting for raw material. This is a machine under maintenance and repair. So all this sometimes is uh, the uh, the reality that we, we may feel and see. So uh, to help out, I have also prepared a point form for all of us uh, to focus on. Allow me to share one more. As a business owner, as a leader, as a top management, sorry, top management, allow me so we always think um, now this is a billing cycle why billing cycle uh, well in the past 20 30 years we are doing fine i've been running business you know, multi-million billions uh, not really an issue but if uh, have you ever dig inside and deep enough do you have an issue of uh, example your goods are ready to ship to customer however cannot 
you're waiting for one important thing, your paper, documents, DO invoice. Because production machinery QC warehouse is one system, then document control, either ERP, accounting software, and other system is totally not talking to each other. So what is linked between them now, many of the time is a paper, piece of paper. So again, generation gap, as Ajay just shared just now, <laughs> it, it is perfectly fine. But uh, <laughs> from what we have gathered um, for the past nearly 24 months, uh, at least from Malaysia and Singapore, uh, many manufacturers, they have a gap as long as five days. That means uh, you're good, ready, cannot ship, wait for your document. Don't go five days, then you ship. And some even go up to two weeks, 10 days, almost half of your month. So if you translate that, uh, what does that mean? First, you have to acknowledge your team is doing a perfect job. With such a gap, they can still deliver on time. But then uh, the logic, could it could be they are buying in advance. They are buying more than uh, you need. So that means all your cash flow could be there and it eats up to your uh, inventory. That means your warehouse space and all that. So to solve this billing cycle, of course, as a business owner, we want to be as short as possible. Yeah, We solve missing link between your machines and your ERP. There are many aspects. It's a big topic. Yeah. So uh, we can share in detail later or maybe some other sessions. Yeah. Uh, talking about billing cycle is somehow is a speed delivery in a way. Now mm -hmm. then, uh, how about quality? Reject means quality. It's also quality and cost. Lah, yeah. Higher the reject, you throw away all your product. You have to put in OT to chase up your schedule. Cost mm -hmm. increase. So we want to keep the cost down, especially now. This is a very critical time. Survival, yeah? Every penny that we can save can mean a lot to the whole team, yeah? Well, you may want to consider QC. You put it in automation. Let system do for you instead of only human being to decide pass or fail. And there are various ways that you can uh, semi-auto and try to find way to get to the root cost, like the example I've shown you just now. One glance, I got five machines down, and what are the reasons? Material song. Uh, this is a way, yeah? So, uh, so that you can make a, a fast and accurate decision. Uh, call up your supplier and uh, call your backup supplier, ask from your friend and all that, you need to borrow some material sometime. Uh, that is about quality. Now, this, uh, when I explain, many of uh, my friends say, uh, are you sure? This is not magic, isn't it? You're not David Copperfield. Okay, my, my, my <laughs> age is still Copperfield. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't I, know. I, I don't know the mention now. Long time you hear the name, man. Thank you. So you know. Good break, good break. That. Someone said we are too serious now. We should smile. <laughs> Hi, team. Thanks for our reminder. Thank you for the reminder. It's, it's a Monday evening, so I try to uh, uh, bring out uh, my sharing. So uh, uh, I try not to be too techy. Uh, yeah, because uh, we, so perfect, uh, I yeah, just want to be I'm very to that point. Very Thank good. you. <laughs> yeah. Then, hey, uh, isn't that a dream produced without adding equipment, especially now? We need to be flexible. Huh? Capital expenditure. expenditure pump in more money, buy more machine, uh, may not be a good idea. We, If I'm a, a factory manager, I may not want to propose this to my management also because that doesn't sound realistic now. So is there anything that we can do? Yes. How to do it? Now, there are a lot of production uh, planning. There are a lot of idling time. I just saw the chart. We have the, the maroon color. Uh, they are testing, pre-qualifying changing tools, changing more. If you plan correctly, uh, you know, uh, the system can do certain planning for you as a suggestion, you just approve it, okay? So you wouldn't look the wrong job to the wrong color, wrong size. Then have your production team to change everything. It's a whole uh, havoc and waste of time, yeah? Then also to, Iron out the uh, the problem of unscheduled downtime. 
Mm-hmm. Unscheduled downtime, put it in simple, is our car, we send our car 10,000 kilometers, for example, for service, yeah, maintenance service, periodic. But sometimes you get big down, right? Especially, yeah, in the past two, three weeks, rainy days, many people doesn't even start their car for weeks. So, battery dead, lah. So cannot. Those are unexpected, unscheduled. So machine sometimes can happen that way. So there are many uh, uh, expect and many uh, things that you can uh, focus your effort to get your team to fix that up. Yeah? Then uh, last point here is look, uh, let's say three months or two months down the road, everything back to normal. Wow, we are uh, very lucky and we work very hard. So we want to expand. But now, as after knowing all this, you want to buy a new machine. Do you want to consider what are the considerations, what keywords you want to listen for? What I can share here is a very powerful word, OPC. A detail, you can Google it. Yeah, it's, Full name is called OLE, Object Link Embedded for Process Control. It's a standard, it's a common protocol uh, to be easy to link to another system. Yeah, That is all for the slides thank you so much okay all right wow so very my heavy. Slides stay on yeah leave your slides stay on uh, yeah okay. very heavy that's why we forgot to smile i don't know about them but it's very heavy for me <laughs> i'm under a lot of pressure trying to host these distinguished people here okay so i've got one question that i thought of what is the difference between business owner with iot and without iot iot for those who don't know that's internet of things so, yeah. yeah, what's the uh, difference? Uh, 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 it's uh, be- beginning of uh, my sharing session just now. Yeah. So this is a, a common question people ask. So uh, yeah. IoT is a technology, it's a tool for you to use it. It's a technology for you to harvest and get the value out of it. So these mm-hmm. are some, allow me to put on my laser pointer. Mm-hmm. These are some of the points that allows you to harvest if you have IoT. Without this, yes, you can still do it, but maybe with more labor intensive and involve more manpower. And another thing is actually the speed. The data here uh, appears uh, real time. Yeah. Allow me to add on one thing. Um, many of the audience who have been also from IT background, so ERP is a, is a very good system. It's a core system. There's a dream that ERP can handle everything, but um, Throughout the years, almost the past 20 or more than 20 years, what we understand, what, as far as we are concerned, ERP is too big and too important for them to listen to per second kind of signal from machine, sometimes it's a little bit overkill. So you may want to use IoT as a cushioning so that imagine you, uh, ERP is a higher rank personnel, so you pay a lot of money, you want them to focus on their work. So you get another assistant called IoT technology to help you to link all your machine, very fast signal, millisecond signal, and compile and organize together and just pass the information. Ah, customer order done or not done, but you need to make this decision. Whether you want to inform delay, you want to change to another machine or so on. Okay. Yeah. Nikki, would you like to add on on ERP because uh, Lai touch on um, yeah touch on ERP. Would you like to elaborate on that? Yeah, there. Are, I mean, some they say ERP more expensive. Some they say IoT is actually something not cheap. So this is <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's uh, business specific, right? Business specific. Uh, actually, now even for ERP, we can go we can cover those uh, small and micro environment for mm-hmm. for businesses they they can afford it it's more affordable now rather than previously when you heard about erp you think of a uh, millions or at least few hundred thousand kind of uh, investment but nowadays because like just now when i show the cloud mm-hmm. so the cloud the subscription we are moving out from capex because now cash flow is very important Capital investment is uh, somebody who is very careful calculating on. So we are moving ERP to cloud base now. So changing from capital investment to OPEX, operation expenses. Then it's in subscription base and the business owner don't feel so heavy. 
I see. I yeah. See. Okay. So ERP is still the fundamental. You have to digitalize your back end process first. Then later you think of the cushioning part, like what the uh, line mentioned, because your machine is still a machine or hardware. You still need to pass data to your system. So that's the mm -hmm. cushion, cushioning part where I can work very closely with Fly. Yeah. I see, I see. Okay, coming. Uh, Yi Hao has been quiet from the beginning because he was the first to present. <laughs> Yi Hao, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, yeah, indeed. Uh, in oh. Yi Hao? Mm, okay. He's been having trouble with his connection earlier also. Exactly, yeah. Mm. Uh, I can put, Jamie, uh, yeah. yeah, thank I you. Think right now, he's oh, he's back, he's he's back. Is it okay right now? <laughs> yep. Yeah, you're back. Okay, yeah. you're back. So what I'm trying to say is that um, now, uh, what is the most important to the business, right? Is it too important or is it the engine important? Uh, if I put that the the most fundamental actually is your engine, which is your own business operation DNA, right? If I put on that term, right? This is actually to say it all what is all about your business so mm -hmm. once the business owner to know exactly what is it all about they can branch out to this vertical instead of horizontal maybe both for business expansion right they can go from processes all the way to automation the processes which, which having an erp for mm -hmm. vertical point of view at the same time we can able to go to the vertical expansion point of view which is i think live portion for the MES, OEE, etc. Yeah. So that is in fact is a combination of all. You know, to for uh, have a total, I would say the balance of the totality of your businesses throughout your business journey, you mm -hmm. must have just three important. The first thing is actually your business SOP, or we call it business blueprint. Once you have blueprint ready, you make sure you have right technology, maybe which is a Nikki side, as well as the human and the capacity on the all the instrument like Lai mentioned the IoT right now is a train because we have to uh, no doubt but we have to really look at it right now the way we do a new solution to solve the old problem. Imagine that with the tech uh, two hundred years or three hundred years ago when we do our ancestor to do business the flow is already there the processes already there. Imagine. The accounting process from invoice, DO, sales order, and invoice. It won't change for a few hundred years already for your information. <laughs> so because of that, actually, this, you should make, the train right now is actually using the new way to solve old problems. That's what I'm trying to, to highlight. Yeah. That. So meaning fundamental must be right. Then we must have the three elements for balance point from the processor point of view, from the technology point of view, from the culture and all the uh, compo enabled components in that case, which is IoT, etc., to be in place together mm -hmm. to serve the one purpose. Yeah. Right. Understand. Yeah, well, I've been putting this little bit nugget about you, right? But I don't understand yeah. this taxi driver syndrome. <laughs> 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 yeah, a lot of people are asking me to that. Uh, let me just quickly expand to audience here. Uh, imagine a taxi driver that is yourself all the I would say all the entrepreneur themselves is a taxi driver so mean okay. the business vehicle is a taxi okay. if I ride my taxi every day right long hour I fetch more um, passenger so and earn more if I today I want to slack a bit so I operate short hour then I earn less if I want to Having a vacation with the loved one, let's say my loved one wants to have a vacation for more than two weeks, no choice. I need to have more than three weeks, meaning the three weeks actually there are no income. So that is a Dixie strategy, meaning that uh, in layman term, we call it a uh, business owner to run to micromanage or maybe one man show. Whether mm -hmm. the business already like talking about few a uh, few hundred uh, million. Uh, to the certain extent, those are the really large enterprise. And most of the time, uh, we also encounter quite a number of SME owner, right? from the few hundred turnover to all the way to 50 million turnover per year, they might be having this situation also because there's one particular challenge is actually they can't remote control their operation. Okay. So that is a yeah. keyword. Yeah. 
So I think just now we uh, mentioned to that uh, remote working solution able to address these particular uh, challenges of typically for business owner, not even before now. the pandemic. Yeah. Wow, I understand now. Interesting. I like it. Okay, so I don't have to feel alone. I'm not the only taxi driver around. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that we don't just put the taxi driver everywhere for ourselves and help ourselves. We become a grab, not a taxi driver. Yeah. It, it yeah, is yeah. a start, yeah. It is yeah, a, start, yes, a start, but we may yeah. not be in debt for a long time. Yeah, we cannot sustain this way. Mm. Plus, the taxi driver becomes old and tired. Oh, <laughs> yes. Imagine that uh, Very tired. human beings are getting older, you know, they don't have a momentum to catch up, things like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, Um, we are at the tail end of the show, but I understand there are more, more valuable stuff coming from you. Um. Yihao, why don't we start with you? Mm. You have something um, for the audience. All right, guys, listen up. All very exciting things coming up. Okay, <laughs> Yihao. Okay, uh, just a quick one to share my screen right now. Okay, no, share your screen? Yep. Okay. Just a quick one. Uh, can you see my screen okay. right now? Coming yeah, out. Yeah. Uh, coming you up. see Go a ahead. Ferrari? Yeah. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is worth more than a Ferrari. <laughs> yeah. So uh, today, I just really quickly uh, as a, as a closure uh, conclusion, I just want to mm -hmm. show us um, a real case study from the reason uh, one of the project I'm handling, right? Uh, mm -hmm. This case study actually is fall under the printing and data processing industry. I, I think some of them might encounter that uh, printing is it like a sunset business, right? How do we help them up? So uh, this is a typical summary of the uh, the business owner do would like to address in terms of the business need. The uh, first thing first actually is that they are having a situation whereby you know all the very key employee is getting uh, matured. So to the certain extent that some of them is going to retire age. So how do we sustain the, the next generations, right? Mm -hmm. At the same time, how do we modernize the processes as well as increase the customer satisfaction Right in the new um, pandemic right now, how do we cater the management in terms of standardization, in terms of processes, in terms of reporting and dashboard, etc. So all in all, uh, with the uh, rule and regulation and the uh, regulator right now, service level compliance uh, sometimes is uh, we cannot be avoid. Yeah. So with all this, at the same time, uh, because of the internet, you know, uh, this thing is moving very fast. And uh, one of the concerns from the business owner is that how do we cater the fraud detection and protection the intellectual property of the company? That one is one of the major concerns, right? Mm. Because they're doing printing and data processes. And in fact, there are quite a number of sensitive data uh, to us when they do bit tendering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that, what we can offer immediately, we give them the solution which is business blueprint. At the same time, we immediately address that, uh, have a systematic access to identify the uh, business component. We call it a business blueprint here. Then we mm -hmm. immediately, based on the uh, proven industry blueprint, because we don't want to invent the view, and mm -hmm. as a baseline, then we customize according to the customer business operation DNA. It's just a way so that we become that optimized business processes model with the build, more important with the built-in a revenue leakage prevention mechanism so that mm -hmm. we have check and balance built within the company processes so that uh, company organization are able to have a practice as a guideline uh, for their daily operations so as a result that bring the uh, first thing is actually we already established the check and balance mechanism within the company we improve the customer experience because we get able to uh, improve the employee engagement. Right? We're able to support the financial reporting, particularly on time, uh, whether it, uh, MFIS or IFIS, or International uh, Finance Measurement Standard, or maybe Malaysia Financial Invoice Standard. Right? So with that, we also can produce the improved diagnostic prediction analytics uh, with the dashboard. So all in all, uh, I would say that this is with the trend right now, whether they are micro SM all the way to a uh, large enterprise. So we are also having these directions to either to cooking the new uh, business paradigm. Yeah. Wow, this is amazing. 
Okay. Yeah. I'm still looking and reading. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, wow. Okay. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Mm, okay. For the audience, we can allow me. You can, uh, if you want to know further detail, you can always email Yihao in yeah. here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I can show it here. He's over here. <laughs> He's over here. They're, all reachable. They're all very kind yeah. to share their email address, yeah. personal email addresses. Okay, that's 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 amazing. I'm still stunned. Okay, um, I mean, as a business owner of 10 years, you know, there are things that definitely can be improved. And with the new norm, pivoting like crazy and um, uh, exhausted taxi driver syndrome. Um, what you said makes a lot of sense for almost all business, I can say that. Yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Nihao, um, would you like to share your mm. special uh, gift for the audience? Oh, yeah, sure. Um, so uh, with today, uh, I would like to uh, share the promotions or the free gift I have. I think due to this reason, I think I was thinking that uh, I able to contribute a bit to the, uh, to the community. So uh, I would like to have the uh, free one hour of uh, online one-to-one -one business continuity assessment that's worth about approximately 350 per sessions. So how to really win that? Uh, we have maximum five participants for the selections with the criteria. Mm -hmm. The criteria is very simple. All you need is just uh, go to uh, our, my company, uh, Facebook, uh, which is, I think, uh, over down there. So um, facebook.com SCMS group, uh, which is, I think later we will share with you shortly. Don't worry, right? Yeah. So bear with me. Uh, then once you do that, uh, go and like my Facebook, add me as a friend so that you can put your any business plan inside my face, personal Facebook. Uh, then I will contact you via Facebook messages for mm -hmm. that. Okay. Yeah. Um, who is this, who is this suited, most suited for? Sorry, come in. Who is this most suited for? Oh, uh, definitely, ideally, definitely, uh, that will be the business owner. In regardless mm -hmm. of what kind of industry they're having, uh, as long as they are facing any business continuity challenge, that will be able, uh, is suitable for me to able to uh, provide value added service to them. Okay. Would, would it be okay for a business owner with one year business company behind them or five and above, five years and above? Um, it doesn't matter sometimes because we have uh, existing customers, so they're just having uh, established the SSM September heart is beating one year, but they are exactly, uh, they are veteran, they know what to do. So the mm -hmm. first year, they hit up the few millions uh, revenue. Okay. Not even sure. one year. Yeah. Wonderful. So, no so it's, it's, yeah. it's very simple. It's a one hour online, one to one business uh, assessment with Nihao himself. Mm -hmm. First, you got to like um, the SACMF group fan page then you mm -hmm. add Yihao as a friend and okay. then on Yihao's uh, you can also email him or privately message him mm -hmm. to share what is your business pain and share with him also you know the reason behind why you think you deserve to win and it's not one winner yeah they're talking about five winner here yeah yeah okay, so Yihao yeah. will how, how would you choose the winner Yihao? uh of course I will need to assess the uh, the the pain uh, the individual business owner having because I, I really want to, as in my uh, tagline always, that I want to help the business owner to solve the taxi driver syndrome. That's my passion. Mm. So okay. the greater pay Great. problem they have, I would like to give them help. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Now, Nikki, your, your turn. Your the special thing for the audience. Oh, shall I share my... Uh, oh, I share my screen first or I mentioned about the special thing? Up to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you say the best for the last one. Huh? No wonder you keep all this one. Oh, I'll quickly show it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, is... Sorry, I'm forgetting. I, I'm forgetting a lot of our plans because I'm reading too much during the show, which I'm not used to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We, we, we just go as natural yeah, and as one, relaxed one... as we can be. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. This is, uh, I mean, everything is remotely monitored and measured. So definitely you need a board of director dashboard. So you can actually monitor even from the beginning of lead generation. When you get your lead, 
before they convert to your customer, you can actually know how many leads are there. You can check your costing, your supply chain, production. I mean, all your cash flow, financial management, and stock control. All this we can put in a dashboard view, whether it's a gun chart view, card view, or even like a Excel grid view. Mm -hmm. All this you can view it from your handphone, your desktop or laptop, or even your tablet. This is just a one glance of what happening in your system. I mean, this is end of the day what we want to achieve with this remote working solution or with my ERP system. All right. All right. So I was, should I stop the sharing? Then we talk about the promo. Promo. The promo. Yes. Freebies. <laughs> we like freebies. <clears throat> Lamborghini, this one. Whoa. Yeah, we have a we have a paid talk in uh, this coming Sunday. The title of the talk is called "Business Transformation to Grow Your Sales Revenue or to Increase Your Revenue uh, Stream." The ticket price is worth one hundred ringgit, but I'm plan to give out uh, five. Whoever connect to me to my personal Facebook, I mean connect to me. I think it's the friend request, right? They have yes, to be my friend first. <laughs> <laughs> they should start requesting and they put a comment at my page talk about mm -hmm. again it's back to their pain statement because okay. our end in mind is to help business owners especially micro or small as uh, micro as or small enterprise so we try to help them and hopefully they can put up their pain statement and we'll select five of them for this week uh talk okay. yeah so they are allowed to um, PM you as well, yeah? Because I yeah, be shy to share my business coins in public, for example. Yes, yes. <laughs> they can even email me. I think there's an email. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, wonderful. So um, five, again, five VIP vouchers worth 100 ringgit each to the event on Sunday. What time is the event? Uh, Three, I think it's three, 3 p.m. 3 p.m. Yeah. Okay. So it's business transformation to grow sales revenue and to increase revenue stream. So if you are wanting to talk about revenue, 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 sales, 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 you might want to win this voucher from Nikki. Okay. Lai, your turn. Before I pop in the word, do you have a slide? <laughs> uh, actually, I have I don't have a slide for you to take home. Uh, mine is already delivered. Uh, okay. I, because uh, 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 Yihao, they are also uh, preparing their solution to construction. So uh, uh, in line with that, we also uh, have uh, some solution for construction industry. Let me just quickly share. This is IoT in construction. Uh, I hope okay. all of us can see the mouse cursor and the field chart there. Uh, it was designed for um, project manager for construction site, the main con personnel, or even if you are uh, M and E sub con, or sub main uh, uh, business owner and so on. Okay. Uh, allow me. Uh, yep, we can choose this time. Uh, yes, uh, I choose March eighteen. Wow, this this uh, date is so. Uh, Difficult. Memorable. Not, <laughs> Memorable. Not, not to forget. Memorable. <laughs> uh, from here, sorry, allow me. One glance, you can know a uh, different proportion of that particular time, what task has been done. Here, let's say screening and how it, how come so little? My plan is actually at least half, so you can take action. So to provide them a tools 24 7 to be their eye and ears, okay, to be on site. So they can take preemptive action. No need people call them only they react. Yeah. Or yeah. So then we can also have a quick view of total working hour because they have planned weekly, uh, bi-weekly and monthly. Total how many hours and they can have a target and actual. And yeah, they can even have the worker performance bar. This could be used. Uh, uh, they can set the pre set the criteria and green, of course, is good. Uh, yellow and red, those that are in trouble, then you can call them and check with them often. Thank you. Mm, interesting. Well, okay. 
So, so our passion, uh, can you uh, carry on to pop up that that Yeah, our passion is to, to uh, because we, we find similarity uh, uh, how the technology can help factories, manufacturers, it can also be applied to uh, construction. So yeah, mm. that's how we bring value. All right, okay. So, so you have, have an on one hour online IoT consultancy session to give away. And this would be suitable for construction? It's suitable for uh, for now is uh, manufacturing and also construction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wonderful, Activist. wonderful. Okay, so how do we win this from you, like? Uh, so we will listen to uh, your business pain and challenges that you have now. So for those, and if we think we are confident to help you, uh, we will choose those uh, uh, candidates to share this with you. Yeah. For those we may not be able to help you now, we may drop you a line and say, look, uh, in future, this is something that we may suggest. What is the journey? The next one, three, or even five years, how you may want to consider to improve from time to time. May I add on? So mine is um, one hour online uh, is not one on one limitation. So it's one on yep. five or six. Uh, the so reason five the, or six is uh, a yeah, team, right? It's a team because team. Uh, yeah. for factory, for example, so the business owner may want to get IT involved, mm -hmm. production involved, mm -hmm. QC involved, maintenance, warehouse yep. logistics. A whole different, uh, different departments that work together. Yep. So we are here to uh, share with them uh, how they can work and connect better in real time. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. So okay. So for um to to have that one hour free IoT consultation with Lai, you need to like his global mission fan page. Yeah. All these details I will drop in the comment boxes um over under this live stream that's happening on Facebook. So you can um, easily just click, you don't have to memorize anything. And I, I believe uh, perhaps uh, my guest can put on your um, site about this promotion as well. So maybe everyone that goes there, they can you know get a feel of what's going on as well. All right, okay. I forgot to share one little thing about a lie actually. I forgot this. <laughs> okay, <yeah. laughs> oh my God. a lot of things but these are the three that i picked up which i thought was cool okay, okay. so wrapping it up we are at 10 16 right now any yeah. final comments any final input um we'll start with yi hao well uh if i can put a few words right now is that uh from now just to share everybody uh collaboration is a key right uh, like it or not this is a moment that uh, all the business owners should look at collaboration rather than competing right mm -hmm. uh, that's over will give you uh, another spectrum of uh, business survival at the same time you look at quick uh, another <coughs> keyword is actually speed just need to once you understand the challenges the pain and all the risk assessment you go through the speed is a key now of course, the last but not least, that should be your cash flow is the most important thing. Make sure you have sufficient bullets to be able to sustain the business. Right? And bullets. stay safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody stay safe. Stay safe. Wonderful. Nikki? Yeah, just two words. Paradigm shift. Change the way you look at things. Yeah. Not paradigm so, more. Don't uh. hang out in the mall yet. <laughs> <laughs> paradigm shift. <laughs> Shift your mindset. Wonderful. And live. Uh, well, I have to express my gratitude from our friend Sheila Wong and uh, Al and also Kenneth because uh, I, I kind of borrow some ideas of uh, how to give back because information is uh, easily available. But the correct information linked to that piece of decision-making uh, statement, uh, that is the key. So we can help in that. Uh, this is how we, we find that we can contribute back. Yeah. Because we know everyone is panicked. So yeah, we are trying to find ways to, to help out. I think, we are more calm. I think we are more calm right now. The, the, the panic has a little bit, I think that's the curve that we managed to flatten. The, the mm. panic 
rate. That's why the but, <laughs> yeah, but we haven't, many would have not yet figured out a solution. Yeah, they just became like anesthetized mm. for a while, numb a little bit already. And then, but we still don't know, many of us still don't know a solution. And that's where you three come in. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. All right. So okay. um, thank you so much for being my guest tonight. It's so amazing to have all of you. You hurt my brain. I had to read a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> totally different industry, but you've managed to, um, if you manage to teach me a lot of things, I'm sure the audience have picked up a lot of key information from you guys as well. So a big gratitude from everyone here. Let me just scroll through one last time from the comments section. There's a lot of thank you going on. Um, I'll pop one through. She looks very gracious. Thank you so much for uh, to all the three awesome speakers. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Um, and everyone who's been good. watching from the beginning, it's been more than one hour. Yeah. Wow. Um, thank Vinice, you for your time. Thank you, Vinice, for your time. Thank you, team. Everyone's contributed some comments here. Belinda as well. Okay, Patrick, you also. Okay. So, oh, Sonia, the more I scroll, the more I see hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Now only we're saying hello at the tail end, huh? because we were so engrossed. Okay. So, connect with these three people, wonderful consultants and experts. Um, and with that, I want to say good night. Um, have a safe night. Shine bright. And I'll see you again on Wednesday. And for Wednesday, I've got another guest. Yeah, Wednesday, I've got another interesting guest. And the topic, we are, to be very honest, we are still deciding on the topic because I was um, just telling him that tonight the topic is uh, something about business continuity as well. So on Wednesday, we'll continue that, but it will be about, uh, most likely it will be about personal competencies for business, whether you are um, for, for as a business owner or someone who's looking for a job. So it's to do with the new norm as well. So with that, we bid everyone good night. Good thank night. you. Good thank night. you, Jerry, for having us. Most That's welcome. Thank you so much, Jerry. It's no, our no, pleasure. No, no, yeah. no, thank you. Thank you. Good night, guys. I'll end the broadcast now.